The doctor, feeling guilty for Rory's loss, took Amy to wonderful places including Arcadia and the Trojan Gardens. Amy asked the doctor why he was being so nice to her. He defensively told Amy that he was always nice to her, hiding his feelings of guilt. Amy told the doctor that she was just joking, but wondered why he wasn't. One of these trips was back to 2010 to visit the exhibit of the works of Amy's favorite artist, Vincent van Gogh at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. There, the two discovered that van Gogh had painted a crafaeus in the church at Auvers. In response, the pair flew off to auvers sur oise France, on the 1st of June 1890. Amy developed a close bond with Vincent and convinced the doctor to take the tortured man to 2010 and show him how he would be revered. Amy was convinced that their intervention would prevent Vincent's suicide and, after returning him to 1890, bounded up the musée's stairs to see all of the new paintings. She was devastated to discover that Vincent had still killed himself and the only change was a dedication on sunflowers, for Amy, Vincent. Also during this adventure Vincent proposed to Amy, but Amy turned him down believing herself to be, not the marrying kind. They visited S. Myslov III for the first time to find their future selves had just visited and caused much damage. Tanik threatened to imprison them, but the TARDIS took off before he could disable the ship. While looking for parts for a tractor beam to rescue the doctor from a spacetime riptide, Amy accidentally released the entity from its container in the TARDIS. The entity created a lesion in time, sent her a thousand years into the future and began to feed on her timeline. The doctor sent Amy a tachyon feedback loop to return to him. He captured the entity and sent it into the riptide to gorge on the four-dimensional chronomites without harming them. Game, TARDIS, they found a vacation spot, Poseidon 8 in the 23rd century, attacked by a Zeralok, occupied by the Vashta Narada and its people suffering, sickness. Amy helped the doctor restore power to the undersea farming facility. She was led to a World War II-era warship, the USS Eldridge. It had brought the Zeralok and Vashta Narada through a dimensional vortex caused by a malfunctioning cloaking device. The doctor and Amy deactivated the device, returning the Zeralok and Vashta Narada to their proper timelines. Game. Shadows of the Vashta Narada. Amy and the doctor next followed a distress signal to a family spaceship where a Dalek scientist was attempting to steal the technology. When the engine overloaded, the whole Jones family were scattered into space and time, and the doctor and Amy traveled to many different locations, such as an ancient Icon temple facing many different monsters like Cybermen and Silurians on their quest to find and help the family. Game. The Mazes of Time. The TARDIS dematerialized from a park in Colchester, Essex, leaving the doctor stuck there and Amy trapped in the TARDIS. After they were reunited, the doctor directed her to write a note to his past self to direct him to rent a flat from Craig Owens. She got upset at the doctor for getting Craig and Sophie together when he couldn't get her a man. While searching the doctor's jacket pocket for a pen, she discovered a jewelry box, containing her engagement ring from the now erased Rory. She could not attach any memories to it, but felt a strange connection. Receiving an invitation to a reunion, the doctor and Amy arrived at Galactic Space Time Coordinates 2000110 by 01, where they were met by a Dalek, a Cyberman, a rogue Ood and a weeping angel. All four attempted to kill the doctor first, resulting in them attacking each other and allowing the doctor and Amy to escape in the commotion. The doctor and Amy landed on an asteroid where an old house stood. They discovered Professor Landale and Miss Crisp had laid a claim to salvage rights of the house, which contained books and films from the Ninth Dynasty of Architron and deactivated its alarms. They met a man purporting to be the house's curator called Lester Forge. Amy found the body of Miss Delman and the doctor and Amy realized that the curator was in fact a prisoner called Maxim Clark, the mastermind behind the Ninth Dynasty's killings and disappearances and Miss Delman's murderer. Clark had been released from his imprisonment in a stasis bed when the alarm failed. The doctor reconnected the alarm system and the robot guards put Clark back in his bed. The doctor, Amy, Landale, and Crisp all decided to leave the place as it was found and not to tell anyone about it. Amy and the doctor visited Space Florida a week before the events of the doctor's erasure. The doctor then took Amy to see the oldest writing on the oldest planet of the universe. Its meaning had never been discerned. Using the TARDIS's translation matrix, 
he was excited that he and Amy would be the first to ever read it. Arriving at the cliff face, they discovered the translated greeting, Hello, sweetie, and a set of coordinates for Stonehenge on the 21st of January 102 AD.